Number 10. The Crocodile Dog A newly identified species of crocodile dog was discovered in a small town in Brazil. That's right, it's really called the Crocodile Dog. This ancient beast lived about 70 million years ago. It wasn't actually a dog, but scientists are referring to it as a crocodile dog because it had huge teeth, a head that strongly resembles that of a modern dog, and the genetic makeup of an ancient crocodile. But this thing didn't slither around like a modern croc. Instead, it ran on all fours just like a dog or a wolf. Scientists believe the terrestrial crocodile was so big that it feasted on dinosaurs. According to Hans Larsen from McGill University in Quebec, this was a longer-limbed version of our modern crocodile with an ecology quite similar to the wild dogs of today. But wait, because this thing was huge. The crocodile dog could reach a length of up to 20 feet. Imagine a dog the size of a dinosaur with a crocodile's lust for meat. You wouldn't survive in its prehistoric habitat for one second. This monster would gallop after its prey and then eat them. It must have been scarier than a pack of velociraptors. It had plated armor and was one of the most dangerous predators of its time. It just goes to show you we're discovering new and terrifying prehistoric predators all the time. Number 9. Bear Dogs Decades ago, two mysterious skulls were uncovered by paleontologists, but they sat in storage at the Field Museum of Natural History for over 30 years before a curious researcher took a closer look at them. What the researcher found was shocking. These skulls proved to belong to a new species called bear dogs, also known as Amphicyonids. They have changed the way we see some of the most ferocious predators in American history. Bear dogs emerged sometime around 40 million years ago, and it took them only 20 million years to spread across the world to just about every northern continent. These shocking and dangerous creatures were huge predators that could crush bone with their flat teeth and strong jaws. The fossils at the Field Museum were first discovered in the 1980s in Texas. Nobody knew what they were until just recently, when scientists analyzed them and found that they dated back about 38 million years. With help from the University of Buffalo, the fossils were scanned and reconstructed. What the scientists discovered were the earliest renditions of bear dogs to ever walk the Earth. It's now become clear that bear dogs were all across North America. But here's the coolest part. Bear dogs acted and looked more like modern bears, but had evolved from smaller animals that would have looked like tiny foxes or dogs. It's not clear how they went extinct or how closely related they are to modern day pets, but researchers believe that the rise of prehistoric wolves could have had something to do with the bear dog's eventual extinction. Number 8. The Dog-Sized Marsupial A prehistoric species of a dog-like marsupial was recently discovered by a research team in Australia. The animal lived on the continent between 18 and 26 million years ago. Though it wasn't technically a dog, but a type of marsupial lion. Regardless, like the modern-day dingo, the similarities between this animal and our domesticated pets are uncanny. The team from the University of South Wales found the skull, teeth, and upper arm bone of the animal. It looked just like any dog you'd find roaming the streets today, only it stopped prey through the primordial Australian rainforests. The marsupial weighed roughly 50 pounds. It had huge blade-like premolars that it used to tear apart its prey. Oddly enough, the discovery of this dog-sized predator came just after a different fossil was found of a kitten-sized monster from the same family of marsupial lions. And this too was found near Queensland by local scientists. Before cats and dogs were running around our yards, it looks like there were marsupials of the same size and ferocity terrorizing the prehistoric neighborhoods. Number 7. Ancient Dog Cave Paintings The oldest images of dogs were recently discovered in the Arabian Desert, carved into the side of a sandstone cliff. The engravings found date back at least 8,000 years, and they show a hunter surrounded by a company of 13 dogs, many of which had lines that run from their necks to the hunter's waist. These are definitely leashes. 
They might not have been as advanced as your modern day retractable leashes, but they served the same purpose. The engraving suggests that humans not only domesticated our furry friends over 8,000 years ago, but that we already had them working with us as trained hunting companions. According to Melinda Zetter from the Smithsonian Institution National Museum of Natural History, this newly found artwork is the only example of very early humans using dogs for hunting purposes. The cave paintings were found in northwestern Saudi Arabia. There were over 1,400 rock art panels that were studied over the course of three years. This was the only painting that showed leashed dogs working alongside hunters. Number 6. The Hyena Dog Modern hyenas live in Africa. Everyone knows that. But over a million years ago, hyenas also thrived in the grasslands of what is today the Yukon in Canada. This was the only species of hyenas that ever wandered out of Eurasia and into the Americas. It's known as the running hyena, and it looked more like an actual dog than spotted hyenas from Africa today. The first fossils of this type of hyena was found in the Grand Canyon over a hundred years ago. But since then, they've been found from Mexico to Kansas and California to Florida, and of course, more north near Alaska and in the Canadian Yukon. Paleontologists working with the University of Buffalo described the hyena teeth that were first found back in the 1970s in the journal Open Quaternary. These fossils came from Old Crow Basin, a place which has gifted researchers with over 50,000 vertebrate fossils from at least 80 species of animal. The ancient hyenas have been compared to wolves with longer legs, less sloped backs, and with a more solitary lifestyle than modern hyenas. They weren't technically dogs, but they were definitely the most vicious things living in the Canadian North a million years ago. Number 5. Paleolithic Dogs After sequencing the genomes of 27 ancient dogs, researchers have just discovered that all dog life on Earth probably originated from a single species of wolf that went extinct a long time ago. They've also said that by 11,000 years ago, there were five distinct lineages of dog across the world. This means that at the time of the last ice age, there were already almost half a dozen dog breeds running across just about every continent. These were the Paleolithic dogs our ancestors became friends with. According to Dr. Anders Bergstrom from the Ancient Genomics Laboratory, dogs are the oldest domesticated animal on Earth and have the longest relationship with humans. While it's not exactly clear what was going on with man and dog beyond 11,000 years ago, we do know that the dogs you see today all over the world probably originated from these five distinct species that were already diversified back in the Paleolithic period. Everything from dingoes to chihuahuas evolved from these five species of dogs in only 11,000 years. If you really think about all the different dog breeds across the world today, and that it only took 11,000 years for all of them to evolve from five origin species, it is pretty incredible. Do you have a dog? What kind of dog? What's their name? Tell me about your furry friend in the comments section below. Then remember to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already for more amazing videos just like this one. Number 4. The Prehistoric Fox Dog The Leptocyon is yet another in the long list of strange hybrid species that didn't make it to modern times. It was a prehistoric canid from the Oligocene period that lived in North America and looked like a weird mix between a fox and a dog. Some scientists believe that these animals were the first true canines ever. There were about 11 different species of them all living in North America 35 million years ago. These ancient dogs were designed for catching fast-moving prey, meaning they didn't have as powerful of jaws as some of the later canine groups. They were quick and shifty like foxes, and some of the leptocyons were the smallest canids that ever existed. These prehistoric fox-like dogs were omnivores, feeding both on fruit and wild animals. Their diet remained unchanged for millions of years before these mysterious creatures ultimately vanished from existence. Not a whole lot is known about the prehistoric fox dog's life on Earth. We know that it was small and weighed less than 4.5 pounds, or 2 kilograms. We also know it had very delicate teeth. 
But when exactly the Leptocyan evolved into wolves and then true dogs is still an archaeological mystery. Number 3. The Siberian Ice Puppy The oldest and best preserved puppy on Earth was recently discovered frozen in the Siberian permafrost. This amazing prehistoric dog dates back 18,000 years and is either an ancestor of wolves, dogs, or maybe even both. Even after the Siberian ice puppy was taken back to a lab and studied, DNA tests were inconclusive. Nobody can figure out whether the small canine was wild or domestic, or just where exactly it came from. The Russians named the 18,000-year-old puppy Dogor, which means friend in the local Yakut language. What's even more incredible than the age of the puppy is just how amazingly preserved its body was. After being stuck in the ice for so long, the dog still had its whiskers, eyelashes, skin, and teeth. Researchers believe the animal was only about two years old when it passed away, but the cause of death has not yet been established. The DNA was sequenced using a piece of the dog's rib bone at the Center for Paleogenetics in Sweden. Researchers discovered that Dogor was male, but everything else about the dog is still unknown. It might have been an ancient wolf pup, it could have been a caveman's pet pooch, or it could have been an elusive species related to both modern wolves and modern dogs. Number 2. The Dire Wolf Dire wolves are by far the coolest of the prehistoric dogs. These are not just creatures from Game of Thrones. They were once powerful canines that patrolled much of North America during our last ice age. They were far more muscular than the gray wolves that live today, they had thicker bones, and they were generally stockier. The only downside to all that muscle mass is that dire wolves were significantly slower than modern wolves. But just wait, the power doesn't stop at the muscles. Sure, dire wolves were 25% heavier than modern wolves, but they were also more ferocious too. They had 129% of the bite force of modern wolves, according to Mental Floss. But that still doesn't compare to the American lion, that also lived during the same time about 11,000 years ago. Dire wolves only had 69% of the American lion's bite force. Dire wolves often ate large herbivores like horses, ancient swine, and cattle-like creatures. By analyzing dire wolf teeth found across North America, scientists determined that they mostly ate horses but sometimes ate giant ground sloths, ancient camels, and even mastodons. Number 1. Prehistoric Hell Pigs Back in 1999, a huge cache of bones was found in Wyoming. There was a big bone pile filled with fossilized skeletons of about six different ancient camels. These camels looked very similar to the beasts we know of today, except that they were the size of domestic sheep. Imagine having a few camels wandering around in your yard instead of sheep. These skeletons were about 33.4 million years old. But the incredible part isn't just the remains of ancient camels. There were a significant number of parts of the camel fossils that were missing. They all seemed to be missing parts of their hips and the backs of their legs. Basically, they were missing their meaty parts. It soon became clear that a horrifying predator had been feasting on these ancient camels. That ancient beast turned out to be something known as a hell pig. The hell pig was a weird mix between a prehistoric wolf and a modern hog. This monster was called Archaeotherium, and a single one could have weighed up to 600 pounds and measured almost 5 feet or 1.5 meters at the shoulder. It had cloven hooves instead of wolf paws a snout full of teeth for crushing, and they weren't actually pigs or dogs, even though they looked so similar. Hell pigs were actually related to modern goats. They migrated to North America 38 million years ago and went extinct about 16 million years ago for unknown reasons. Which of these prehistoric dogs would you love to have for a pet? Which would terrify you? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more amazing videos.